how do we get more school children inspired by science? Having one of Britain's best-known professors, Robert Winston, come into the classroom could perhaps do the trick. It's part of a scheme by Imperial College to reach out to young children. Our reporter, Sarah Harris, has been to Hertfordshire to find out more. Why is it shrinking? Scientist Robert Winston doing Don't Try This at Home experiments with children from Chatters Primary in Watford. Who thinks it will burst? Hands up. Who thinks it won't burst? He wants them to be as passionate about science as he is and says the signs are even girls who've traditionally opted for art subjects are becoming more technically minded. There are particular tricks you can use with, with young women, uh, particularly if you can show a social, social usefulness for what you do, because women on the whole have an altruistic view about the world, and that, that sort of helps. Sometimes men are a bit blinkered to that. Um, and that may be why, of course, so many women go into medicine, because they're actually helping other people. You'll load your uh, robot by pressing this button. Victoria is an engineering student at Imperial College in London and has come to the new science, technology and mathematics hub at Watford Grammar School for Boys to teach visiting year six children how to code a robot. So we programmed it, yeah? Yeah. It's a skill not usually mastered until university. Should we let go? Yeah, let go. <laughs> It's nice to actually be able to tell people what engineering is because I kind of came to uni not really knowing what it was and just decided that that was going to, what I was going to do. It's really nice to let them know this early so they can actually get into it and, you know, and it's, I love being, being a female and being able to tell all the other girls, like, let's just, you know, get involved because there's not that many girls in my year, so it's nice to be able to, you know, part that knowledge. So has a day in the lab made these 10 and 11-year-olds into scientists? I like learning about robots and learning how they um, move and their language and how different they are to what we think. It's amazing. Some things you just don't understand and then after that it turns out to be really easy. I think when I grow up I might want to be a scientist. It is extremely cold in there. The aim is for thousands of 9- to 18-year-olds to benefit from this mentoring project and they'll all need their safety glasses. Sarah Harris, BBC London News.